today jesus calls us friends we are his friends we are the chosen ones and he asked us to remain in his love to become a friend of jesus is to remain in his love when our god is love as we hear from the second reading st john says we must love one another because love is of god love is of god and god himself is love and so we must love one another father loves the son son loves the father and the love between father and the son it is the spirit that is the holy spirit we know god loves everybody in this world God loves all people whether we are good or bad everybody God loves all of us God loves those who believe in God God loves those who do not believe in God God loves those good people in this world God loves the evil also there is no difference unconditional love this is the first stage of god's love unconditional love and the second stage of love is uh, conditional love that is what jesus said if you want to remain in my love if you want to remain in my love we must keep his commandments and what is this commandment the commandment in simple term love one another as god loves us love one another as god loves us so we must love god and love one another that is his commandment what does it mean love one another and love god how do we find how do we know this is said i kept all the commands my father told me and i am giving all the commandments to you what are these commandments these commandments are the scripture the bible whatever god has spoken to us they are written in the bible they are god's words god's commandments so the first condition to remain in love is to keep his commandments to love god to love our brothers and sisters and read the bible love the word of god if we love god then we must always listen to the word of god if you read the bible we are listening to the word of god if you read the bible god is speaking to us read bible every day keep bible with you close to your hearts keep always a small bible in your bag or in your wallet so that you may carry the bible word of god everywhere wherever you go and whenever you get a little extra time take that bible and read and you love the word of god you love god the second thing if you want to remain in god's love we must seek god we must seek god and stay with him if you don't seek god that we cannot love god seek him in the bible seek him in the church seek him in the sacraments seek him in the mass in the eucharist you will find him stay with the lord you know what is the most difficult thing to do what is the most difficult thing or most difficult work or most difficult job to do in our daily lives the most difficult thing to do is 
sit before the Lord an hour. You can work in, the, in your house whole day. You can work in your kitchen hours to prepare meals. You can work in your farm for the whole day. You can go to the office, work in the office for the whole day. You can sit with our friends for hours, no problem. We can eat in the restaurant for hours. You can watch movie or TV for hours, but we cannot sit before the Lord for an hour. Can you try to sit before the Lord for an hour without any distractions? It is impossible. We eat in the restaurant for two hours. We sit there, no distractions, no problem. We are feeding our, our flesh, our body. We watch movie two hours without any distractions. We are feeding our mind. But when we sit in the church, within five minutes, a lot of distractions come into our hearts. If you sit more than an hour, then we feel to go out, to drink water, to eat something, or to go to the washroom, or we think about other things. A lot of distractions come into our heart, our mind, while we are sitting before the Lord. It is because we are feeding our soul. Feeding the mind is easy. Feeding the body is easy. But feeding the soul is the most difficult thing. So if you love God, stay with him. Stay with him. Then we will become friends of Jesus Christ. So if we are friends of Jesus Christ, and Jesus called us friends because a friend uh, sit together. A slave sits down, the master sits up. A teacher sits, keep a distance with the, from the students. Teacher won't sit together, the master won't sit together with the disciples. But friends, they, they sit together. They talk together, and this is what Jesus wants from us. He wants to be with us. He wants to talk with us. He wants to sit with us. He wants to eat with us. And that is why he wants to become our friend. Ours, he can talk to our friends. When we meet our best friend, a good friend, then we talk for hours, no problem. He wants us to talk with him for hours. Just think about it. How many hours you spend in prayer, in your personal life? How many hours you spend in reading the Bible? How many hours you spend in reciting the rosary? Just think about it. If you are able to spend an hour every day before the Lord, then you are a good friend of Jesus. Our friends help us always when we are in difficult situation or we are in trouble or problem, we call our friends and our friends come and help us. If we are friends of Jesus Christ and he is our friend, he is also ready to help us more than a friend. He is ready to sacrifice himself for us. A friend is ready to sacrifice anything for the friend. You need money, you ask your friend. Your friend will give you, help you. If you have no place to sleep, your friend will take care of you. So in the same way, if Jesus is our friend, he will help us, support us, encourage us. But remember, friendship is not one-sided. 
There is not one way. When we seek our friend's help, we also must help our friend when he is in situation. So friendship is two ways we have to give what we receive. If you don't give, it's not a friendship. So if Jesus is our friend and he is helping us, then we also must help him. How? If there is a, a hungry person who is a friend of Jesus, Jesus will send him to you. You have to feed. If a homeless person who is a friend of Jesus and he will send to you, we have to give him shelter. Everyone who, whom we meet, who needs our help, who needs our support, they are friends of Jesus Christ and he sends us. And we need to take care of them. Then our friendship remains. We remain in the love of Christ. So dear brothers and sisters, let us make friendship with Jesus Christ. Jesus is our friend who is ready to help us at any time. There is no limitations. Make Jesus your friend. Not a simple friend, but your best friend. Always talk to him like you talk to your friends. When you are in trouble, call Jesus. When you are happy, share your joy with Jesus. When you need anything, you ask him. But always remember him. He is your friend, an invisible friend who lives always with you until your death. So always consider Jesus as a friend. Think about him. Keep in touch with him. Listen to him when he speaks. Share with him and love him. Then our friendship with Jesus will grow. Remember what he said. If you are my friend, ask anything and my father will give you. God bless you.